Hi, my name is Linda Hansel, and I'm here to talk to you about your mind. Sometimes we feel like we are out of our mind, aren't we? Or we say to some, about someone else, they are out of their mind. And then I think to myself, what am I doing with my mind? Am I focusing on what I should focus on? Because I find that when I don't focus on what I should be focusing on, I get afraid and I want to whimper and I want to cower and I just want to back into a corner and stay there. It's because I'm not thinking about how God still has this and that he will take care of me. In the Old Testament, Moses was passing the leadership of the Israelites over to Joshua. And that meant that Joshua was going to be the head of over a million people. It was a daunting process. It was a daunting thought. He probably was scared out of his mind. I think he probably was. And the reason why is because in Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, Moses is talking to Joshua and he says, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. You know what? When you're looking around what's going on today, when you think about the tragedies, the fear, the, the future, and how maybe it's only going to get worse from here, and we wonder how in the world we're going to make it, we need to focus on God. And we need to think about, he's with me. He hasn't left me. Did you know that when God created the earth, he already knew about today? And the reason why is because God saw yesterday and today and tomorrow all in one. He saw it as all at once. And God knew there would be a time even when I would be making this video and then another time when you would be watching it. And he offers this to you as encouragement and remember, I am with you. You don't have to be afraid. When we have Almighty God on our side, we have it all. And it doesn't matter what the future looks like, we can trust him with it. And Joshua must have been very afraid because in the very next verse, it says again, be strong and of good courage. And then in verse 8 of Deuteronomy chapter 31, the Lord, the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. And dismayed means they're afraid or terrified. See, when we get really scared, it's because we don't think God is there. We forget God made the earth. God made mankind. God made the stratosphere. He made the nine planets. He made all the moons. He made it all. And he really is in charge of it all. And we can trust him with it. We can trust him with today. We can trust him with tomorrow. As much as we look back in our past and we see how God was in control, we can be sure that he's in control right now. And based on his perfect performance in the past, we can know that he is also has tomorrow all taken care of. My friend, you need to shut off the TV, shut off the news, and concentrate on God. I do not mean plug your ears and da 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 That's not what I mean. I mean... Focus on God. He's got this. He has never left us. He has never failed us. He is not about to fail us. He is faithful. And remember what Philippians chapter 6 says. Hang on. I've got it right here for you. Philippians chapter, pardon me, chapter 4, verse 8 Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good report, when there is virtue and praise and things that are praiseworthy, think on these things. This is the list of what we're supposed to be thinking about. And so, yeah, do we hear the news? Mm-hmm. But we don't need to chew on it and, and fume about it and then comment about it. We just need to say, God is still in control. It doesn't matter what man thinks. It doesn't matter what it looks like. I know I can trust God. He is going to take care of this. He is trustworthy. And based on his past and his perfection, I know he has the today and the future ahead 
all taken care of, and he is trustworthy. My name is Linda Hansel, and you can get my book called God is Ahead of Us on Amazon, or you can uh, Facebook me and ask for a signed copy, or you can get it. Also, see my other blogs on lindahansel.com. Remember, God has this. You can trust him with it. Focus on the God of all.